We are back. Stay some short time. Oh, here is the kind of snow I'm looking for. Hello. Good day, wonderful skiers. In this video, we're going to learn an exciting opposite approach to doing a high-performance short turn, where we first make nice calm turns, and then we develop them into a short turn. A couple of years ago, when I did my IAC Level 3 Ski Instructor exam, I, on the third day, had gotten my short turns to the level, but over the next two days, we were trying to push it further, or the instructors were trying to make my snappy little short turns, bigger, more aggressive, higher edge angle kind of short turn, and that did not work. On the final day, all the other instructors, except maybe a couple, had passed or failed, but they, they still wanted to see more from me. Alone on the chair, because all the other instructors had been passed or failed, but they knew I had it in me. I sat with my eyes closed, <sighs> breathing, trying to calm myself down, just like it was the final run of a slope style contest. Visualizing what you need to do is very powerful, although it didn't really work that day. So I thought, screw it, let's do it. I'm just gonna let my skis rip it. Oh, I finished my run, come down to the examiners and they're like, yes, Jens, that was awesome. Do that again and you'll pass the exam. I was like, okay, I got it. I still didn't understand what I'd done so right, even though I passed the exam. That took until the next week and on the first day of the teaching exam, where Henry Meredith Hardy, you're a boss man, showed me this upside down approach, where you go from a carved turn to a short turn, which changed my short turns for life. This is roughly what my skiing looked like during this exam. It's not that great, it's duck, 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 quite uppy. I don't love it. And what I wanted to see something more like this, not always, but sometimes during these exams, high performance -y. And I think these turns both look and feel a bit more like a carved turn than the short turns I just showed you. You obviously need to know both type of turns for different scenarios, like skiing down a couloir, maybe you want the first option, and then skiing down like a red run, maybe the second one. So if you want up your skiing as much as possible, join us at Stompit Camps, where we combine level four ski instructors, video analysis, motion sensors from carb in our boots so we can push you as far as possible. See you then. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a bottom up approach. It's really good actually like this. You do braquage to practice the rotation of the skis. Sure, it's great for practicing that rotation. And then maybe you'll practice something like this, a traverse, to practice pressure and rotation at once. From that, maybe you'll try some actual short turns like this, pretty simple ones, where you combine that rotation and that pressure on the outside ski. And from here, the issue I had was that we're trying to build it up to a more high performance short turn by increasing the radius, and widening the corridor, and like allow the skis to go further away from me in the turns and it just never made sense to me even though it's a great way to learn short turns in order to follow along with this tutorial make sure that you know the following four things so we're going to start doing some carved turns right hello that's some nice old school short turns there anyway with decent or pretty good even angulation you can remind yourself to stay upright with the upper body but having a nice little pole plant or pole touch. Because these carve turns are quite fast in the pace, bam, bam, bam. We don't have time really to square up with the skis. So the upper body stays more down the hill. Last thing you wanna have is a bit of a cross under. Do you notice my upper body is quite stable. My head doesn't go up and down much. If you got this cross under done right, you should finish a turn a bit more on the heel, go immediately to the most forward, middle, heel. So it's like from the heel straight away to the most forward part. Boom. 
Feels really good. So I kind of have two feelings in my feet. There's a heel at the end, straight to that most forward pressure at the top third of the turn. Let's briefly mention the difference between a carved turn and a short turn. For me, a carved turn is when you're purely one line in the snow, where the ski is just cutting through it with no rotation. While a short turn is, has a high tempo and has a little bit of a smudge or a skid during the turn. Let me introduce you to the 555 uh, five, five, five drill that Henry introduced to me, which changed my short turn thinking forever. In this drill, we're gonna quite simply do the following. We're gonna do five carved turns, quite snappy, like jack, 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 with that slight cross under like talking about before. And after the five carved turns, we want to feel for a little bit of a skid, ideally on the middle third of the turn. Try it, it's pretty difficult. Okay, it's a little bit too soft for this, to be honest, but I can probably do it anyway. I'm still having a cross under for five, and then I add a little bit of a smudge there. So I'm trying to really carve the top and the bottom part of this turn. Five, and I go with a little bit of skin. Like I'm, oh, here is the kind of snow I'm looking for. So, having got the feeling for it with a 5.5, five, I'm trying to have the same feeling here on this steep part of this red one. Ah, no! How silly of me. I don't know what happened there. That was not so good. Jens a shitty ice patch. Now, I can't blame it on it. Of course, it was icy, but that was just me not skiing so well. Sorry about that. Hard turns with the cross under, blending in some skid in each turn. Oh, that felt good. Woohoo! That was great. Perfect steepness here. And if you got the 5.5 five, uh, down, you need to go and look at your tracks and search for double bananas. Mmm, top third. Clean curve. Nice. Mm, middle third only, smudge, this wide. Nice, happy about the turn shape of this one. Look at this, lower third, clean calves. You know, the, the thinner the banana is, in case you were doing this technique in a slalom course, the faster you'll be skiing. And it's really cool to have a double banana, because most people do short turns where the whole turn becomes one banana shape, because the skis have been yeah, rotating, skidding that much throughout it. Here we can see a nice banana. It's a single banana, but it's quite thin anyway. It means that we don't have an excessive amount of rotation of the skis. And this is good. Yeah, do you like my banana? It's pretty hard to feel the difference between the five carved turns and the five skidded ones perhaps. So it's a good idea to get some video analysis done. And we're gonna do it right now with the Carve app and look at some data on how they differ. Similar to during the five five drill, let's first look at my carved turns. First thing I see here, pretty decent ski IQ. Happy about that. But to be serious, the main thing is that I incline into the turn first, then crank in the angulation to do this sort of turns. So here the pressure is longer than on my short turns that we'll see next. Here on these short turns, the first thing that strikes me about them is that that angulation comes directly, basically on the top third of the turn, got some of that angulation so I get some nice outside ski pressure and forward pressure that helps steer or rotate the skis into a short turn. The last and final step is to think about getting the skis to rotate with your fore and aft movement. Let's say we make a nice turn here. It's even got a little double banana here. Let's look at that, double banana, nice. The way we can do this is that, first of all, we have that heel heavy transition up here. 
and then to this top third of the turn, the upper body is taking a shortcut into the turn and kind of landing on maximum forward pressure. And what's going to happen then is that you have less pressure on the heels, allowing the skis to skid around. And then at the end of the turn, you know, we want to have a kind of cross under transition for now, which is then helping the tail of the ski grip, making the skis go bing across the slope and it feels amazing. It can be challenging to learn this kind of turn. And if you're struggling, watch some of the videos up there or join our ski technique camps where level four instructors will push you to learn them all, all of this and much more. See you in the next video. Ciao.